Kathleen Lockhart was born Kathleen Arthur on August 9, 1894, in South Sea, Hampshire, England. Her acting career spanned more than 50 years on radio, stage, and screen, many of her appearances with her husband, Jean Lockhart. In London, she was a member of the Dickens Fellowship. Then she moved to Toronto, Canada and joined the Von Glazer Repertory Company. In 1924, she married Jean Lockhart and they moved to the United States. Her radio credits include Abroad with the Lockharts, Tonight in Hollywood, Lux Radio Theatre, The Nebs, Cavalcade of America, and Family Theatre. She also appeared in more than 30 films, including the Arch Obler movie Bewitched, and in Roughly Speaking, both in 1945, Lady of the Lake in 1946, and the Glenn Miller story in 1954, where she played Mrs. Glenn Miller. She and her husband, Jean, regularly acted together and often as husband and wife. The two radio series where they starred together included Abroad with the Lockharts and the Nebs. Some of their several film appearances together include Penrod's Double Trouble as Frank and Laura Schofield, Sweethearts as Augustus and Aunt Amelia, and in the 1938 version of A Christmas Carol as Bob Cratchit and Mrs. Cratchit, which also included their daughter June Lockhart in her acting debut as their on-screen daughter Belinda. After her husband's passing in 1957, Kathleen retired from acting, apart from a small role in the 1959 film, The Purple Gang. On February 8, 1960, she was awarded a star for her emotion picture work on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Her husband, Jean, and their daughter, June, each received two stars for television and for film on that same day. Kathleen Lockhart passed away on February 18th, 1978 in Los Angeles, California after a long illness. She was 84. She was survived by her daughter, June, and actress granddaughters, Annie and Junie Lockhart. Information for this biography was taken from the Los Angeles Times, the Internet Movie Database, and from Wikipedia. For old-time radio researchers, I'm your announcer, Patrick Andre. Thank you for listening.